The title of my paper was Swiping Left and Right, The Construction of Men's Identity Through Tinder. Tearing the fabric of binary gender, reweaving bodies and land. Headspace, creating a happier hospital. After coming here, I think I've been happily surprised with how I've been able to show my passion for my own research. That you can have such a good time and get on so well with people who, mm -hmm. on a first glance, you might think you've got nothing in common with, but actually what we've all got in common is that we're all really, really passionate about something that we've been working hard on. One person is working within like astronomy and really cool spacey science stuff <laughs> that is completely beyond me, but it's really fun because I've, like, I've been using constellations and galaxies as metaphor within what my work. And so it's cool to see how these different ways of thinking overlap and connect. To experience the culture and uh, to meet new people in Dublin. And I'm glad to be here. What had won the award, I was on a bus and I was heading to work and I had to stop myself from squealing and crying. Yeah, I was just extremely, extremely over the moon. <laughs> and yeah, it still doesn't feel real and I'm here. <laughs> When students enter the world today, I want them to be confident about their abilities and I want them to be able to look forward to the success. And I would just caution them that patience and perspective is going to be important to getting what you want. That they're aware of their own agency in the world. I hope that they realise the privilege that their education gives them, but also at the same time realise the bias that it might give them as well. That they will be and that they will feel equipped to deal with the really considerable challenges that we have. It's a big thing to ask students, but I think the future needs to be made safe for so many people, and I hope that they will feel able to do that very big thing.